Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the New World settings that I run, because I have a fairly smooth game, and a lot of you guys that have tuned into my streams have really asked me, you know, make a video about settings, make a video about the video settings you're running, so that we can get smooth FPS, and, you know, really a good looking game. So let's take a look at my settings right now, and jump into it. Before I do so though, I do want to say, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. We also stream every Saturday, Monday, and Thursday at 6pm Eastern, if you guys do want to jump in on one of those days. Alright, so, video settings first is the first thing we're going to take a look at. This is the most important when it comes to FPS, when it comes to a good looking game. So here's what I'm running, and this is obviously dependent on your resolution when we go to the resolution side of things, but I would suggest selecting a resolution that looks good to you. I did 2560 by 1440 because my monitor is that type of monitor. We have full screen, of course, monitor, obviously put it on your best monitor. Uh, field of view, I always go max field of view, I would suggest everybody that wants to be good at the game to go max field of view, it just helps you see everything around you and your surroundings. Next up we have max FPS. I have uncapped right now, I really don't have any problems with FPS, if you're looking to, you know, cap yours, you can, I would keep mine uncapped, this is what I'm running. Brightness, I like to have a lot of brightness just because I like to be able to see things in dark areas. When you go into a corrupted portal, a corrupted zone, let's say you go into a Tempest Heart dungeon run, let's say you go into the depths, some of these areas can be very, very dark, it's hard to see. I want high brightness so that I don't get flanked by PVPers in the open world or, you know, anything like that. So, high brightness is kind of a key for me, 7 is what I have mine at. Contrast, I just keep mine at the 5. You can obviously go either direction with this. I think the darker the contrast, actually the better the game looks, to be honest. But I do keep mine at 5 because I like having that brightness available. Um, but I would, like I said, suggest going a little higher than 5 if you want to see how the game does change a little bit. Uh, so now we have video quality. This is an important one, obviously, when it comes to FPS. Most computers can't handle all settings on high. When I'm streaming, my computer can handle it. It just lowers my FPS too much to where I can't be effective or as effective in PvP and PvE. My suggestion would be to go to low because low is actually not going to change too, too much when it comes to the, you know, what the map or what the world looks like when you're walking around. I know you'd think, you know, the shadow de details going low, everything going low makes it look terrible. And yeah, it doesn't look near as good. Um, in certain situations, right? If you're looking for certain areas or going through certain, uh, you know, zones. But when you look in town, this is low, right? And the medium really didn't change much there. I know it all doesn't update at the same time. I think you have to restart for, you know, to get all of the updates. But uh, the difference between medium and low is going to be huge on your FPS. So I would suggest is taking the lowest settings. If you're struggling, if you're not, stick at medium. I think medium is a great spot to be at to make sure you're maxing your FPS. And remember, guys, I'm running a 3090. 3090s are one of the best graphic cards out there right now, and it's just, like I said, a 3090, very, very smooth with it um, at medium and hard, I mean, really at, at uh, I was going to say hard, it's not hard, at medium and uh, high as well. High is really, really good, but the problem is, like I said, that stream, when I'm streaming, I need to make sure my settings uh, are a little lower just so I have no FPS problems, because we do use just this one computer for streaming and running the game, of course. So let's go on to the advanced graphics. And by the way, certain parts of these qualities you can change even lower and it'll help you out, like shadow details. Realistically, I should turn this one down to low. There's no reason to have that one a medium. That's just causing a lot of issues with lighting and other things. Lighting details, I don't really care too much about this. This doesn't include shadows, but again, that one and effect. Effect details might be the biggest one, guys. Effect details should be at low at all times if you don't care too, too much about the effects because this is going to bog down your FPS insanely, insanely much. Uh, so these are the three that I would change to low if you're going to change any to low. Water details, I mean, do we really care what the water looks like? It depends if you're one of those people that just love looking at the map and love looking at the zones and how pretty they are and everything, but I'm going to change water details down to low as well. I want to keep medium on texture details, terrain details, and some of this other stuff just because I like the way the world looks right now, and these other things that I changed to low won't change too, too much of it. All right, so advanced graphics, obviously an important part as well. I have dynamic resolution scaling on. So basically when enabled, it automatically adjusts internal game resolution to maintain frame rate performance. That's going to be huge for us. We also have VSync off, which basically limits your frame rate to monitor refresh setting. Turn on to reduce screen tearing. I typically keep this off. doesn't cause me any issues. You can play around with that one if you want. Uh, show FPS, I have that off. Obviously, this is not a big deal. You can have it on or off. 
I would suggest having it on to see what your FPS is like for the first maybe hour of gameplay and then change it back to off if you don't want to continually see all of these numbers in the top right and top left. All right, so cap FPS in background. This is a big one as well. I like to keep this on because there's no reason when it's in the background to have your FPS running so, so heavily at a high FPS rate. A lot of people say that this is what uh, you know caused the 3090s to be what was it? The 3090s at some point were all breaking, and I think it was because, not really this game, but it was a 3090th problem, but it was because the cap of the FPS in the background, like I said, was not capped, so they actually added this in. No reason to not take advantage of it. All right, so those are all the video settings that I'm currently running. You guys can copy what you want. I actually changed a few myself right then and there and want to try these out and see if they look good as well uh, to low, but medium has been looking really good on stream for you guys, and it's been looking pretty good to me as well, so I've got no complaints there. I don't think there's really much else to look at. I'll go through a couple of my key bindings and stuff because I know a lot of you guys might want to see what I use. Uh, so zooming in and stuff, all the same stuff is normal. The only thing here is I do have a, a mouse button for my switching weapons. I think that's a big deal. And I don't do much life staff stuff, but there is a lot of life staff stuff to do. If you are a life staff healer, I would suggest looking for some somebody that does play life staff so you guys can take a look at that. But this is probably the most important side, the actions. So consumables, the swap weapons, this is all I do right here. And I, I wish I could change some of these consumables around, but I'm just so used to them at this point. I, it would just kind of send me in the wrong direction but I would like to add those a couple of those to maybe a mouse button or something a little easier to press as you know getting to consumable four by hitting six it's pretty difficult uh but that's kind of my look on the key bindings game we have camera shake obviously off get that thing way off of there uh camera sensitivity I have mine at 20 doesn't matter it's up to you uh what else we got what else we got HUD Always show radical on. I have all these on. All these are just, they make sense to have on. Uh, the amount of players and nameplate amount, this is huge for FPS as well. You're going to want this at 15 at the very, very most. If you go up to 100, you're going to be lagging very, very heavily. I would actually take this down to like 10 in most case scenarios uh, because there's no reason to have 15. 15, you're just going to be struggling at all times um, if you are already struggling. So targeted healing, this is all healing stuff. Not going to jump through this. This was something you should, like I said, get information from a healer for i don't know much about that stuff bandwidth mode i have on medium emit client temporary data i have off just because i would assume sending stuff or delivering you know information of what's going on data wise could only cause lag could only cause issues it probably is nice for new world to have though and it may help but i don't know i'm uh, i'm avoiding it enable achievement notification i have on right now it's kind of nice to see when you have that uh, notification pop up and say you've accomplished this or that uh audio stuff this is Pretty basic, nothing really to look at there. Social, pretty basic stuff. Again, nothing to really look at here. Uh, accessibility, pretty pretty basic. Nothing really crazy here. You can actually see um, there is some different text size stuff, sub, uh, subtitle stuff you can do if you are looking for dialogue. Uh, game narration assistance, obviously, if you have problems with that, you can definitely turn that on. But this is basically all I'm running, guys. This is very, very easy stuff to definitely copy really, really quickly and get higher FPS. So hopefully that helped you guys. Hopefully this is the game settings or the video settings video that you wanted that will hopefully make your New World game run at that max FPS as constant as possible. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. Do remember, guys, we stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you all in the next one.